Welcome to another episode of Andrew Plays. Um, as always, I'm your host, Andrew Ambrose, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, today's episode is going to be very extraordinary, because for once, I'll be playing a game that I'm willing to believe that less than 1% of you guys watching even will know remotely what's going on in the game itself. And of course, that game is the 1983 Nintendo classic Mahjong for the Famicom. Well, more specifically, this is technically the disc system version of Mahjong. Um, but it, I, I'm, from what I know, it's not. It's pretty much just the Famicom ROM, but in a on the disc system. It's not like other Famicom disc games like uh, Ice Climber. Um, or uh, Clue Clue Land, where there are actually um, changes from the original Famicom cartridge versions of the game. This is just the ROM on the disk system. But it's pretty much the exact same. I'm, there might be some differences, but I'm not sure. There, there might be differences. Uh, yeah, it's a Mahjong game. A Mahjong is a game that not many people here in the United States know how to play. More specifically, Japanese Mahjong. I actually um, was so interest, took a, such an interest with Mahjong that I actually went out of my way to research how the game is played. And honestly, I'm glad I did because Mahjong is a very fun table game. And there are some qu quite some good uh, video game versions of it out there, including this one, all the way from 83. And of course, it was... I, you could imagine it was a big seller, and a whole bunch of other Famicom Mahjong games soon followed, like Yonin Uchi Mahjong, which was developed by Hudson Soft, published by Nintendo in 1984. And they got other ones like Family Mahjong, developed by Nihon Busan and published by Namcot, a subsidiary of Namco, and just a whole bunch of other uh, stuff. But this was one of the pioneers of Mahjong games, video games. And you guys... If you don't, if you don't know how to play, you you won't know what's going on. But I'm just gonna just be talking about just random things while I play. And I might as well do something wacky and out of the ordinary then, since that's a bit kind of my thing, in all honesty. Uh. So uh, with that said, we might as well uh. We might as well get started. Um, this time, I'm just playing with this, uh, this wired switch controller that I got for Christmas. I'm not, I didn't think to put, use my regular NES controller hooked up with the adapter like I usually do, or some other controller, but this, th the one I'm using should do just fine for this. Um, so with, uh, further ado, might as well just begin. four of a kind right off the bat. That's sweet. If there's one thing I will say about Mahjong, is that it's kind of similar to Rummy in the way that you're trying to win the game by having a certain uh, combination in your hand of tiles. It's not exactly like uh, Rummy or Jin or... Yeah. But... Um, it has a similar sort of idea, if that makes any sense. Actually, I haven't played a Mahjong game in a while, so I don't. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I got my ass kicked pretty bad. All right. Oh, uh, you 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 want to know something that sucks? Uh, Nintendo actually made um, an arcade version of this. Mahjong game on the Versus system called Versus Mahjong in uh, 1984. Obviously only in Japan. But you want to know what sucks about that game? That variant of the game? Uh, there's a time limit for you to take your turn. Mahjong is a game that requires having to think very um, carefully about what you do because one slip-up can really mess you up bad. So, but the game has a time limit because it's like an arcade. I, I understand, but it still sucks. 
especially in this modern day and age, because it doesn't give you enough time. If you don't make a decision in time, you'll actually lose the hand automatically and get a lot of points taken off of your score, and that's just... That, that is just a load of ass vomit. And what's worse is that they're actually selling this on the arcade archives, as if they, as if anyone, as if they think anyone will know how to do it, not just in Japan but also in a, here in the in the in the U.S. Though thankfully there is um a maj a Japanese mahjong game for the Switch that is in English, so you can actually, and it's only five bucks, so if you can get it, you could pretty much it could help you learn how to play the game, and it's also pretty fun. I have it; it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, versus mahjong like. It's ungodly. Uh. It's giving me a bunch of shit. Ah, oh, there. I think we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Green Dragon. I imagine someone would go absolutely insane just hearing the same sound effects over and over. Especially that one when it's like, you're trying to do something, but... It won't let you. Man, that, that part, I hate. That's the part that sucks. I'd, I'd probably go insane just from listening to that. Blaring. Uh. Is that gonna work? Yeah, like, sometimes it's hard. It's like, it's, tr it's trying to, it's like, restricting you on what to do, but... You don't know why it's telling you you can't do it. And that honestly just... I hate that, really. Oh, there we go. That That's how it... Alright. Oh! Oh, I win! Oh, cool. Kick ass. Richie Soku and Tanyo. Three Han for nine thousand six hundred points. Nice. I want a hand right. I want a. I want a game right off the bat. It's time for the next round. Next next game, yeah. That's a good omen. I, I win right off the bat. Hopefully this will carry for the rest of it. do the one that doesn't have like the ones the nines the winds or the dragons Yeah, you can see why you can see why this game's big in Japan. You gotta you gotta really think about what you're doing. It's big brain time. Star Trek time. You, you guys ever seen uh, Ninja the third Ninja Turtles movie? And like, out of, like something happens, and then April's like, "It's Star Trek time, boys!" Like, well, what the hell is she on about? I mean, the movie is already mind-numbingly stupid as it is. It's like, what the hell? And honestly, it do, it's like the line itself doesn't. It's like, it sounds like it could be a badass line, but the way it's the, it's just ra the way how randomly it's just thrown out there, 
and it's just I lose. I blame Turtles 3 for, for me losing that hand. That's a problem in this in the Mahjong game. Whenever you're given a lot of garbage, you don't really know what you're gonna do with it, and you waste a lot of turns just trying to get rid of stuff you don't want. There's a bit of a luck sort of thing involved. It takes strategy, but you also have to be careful not to not to get also just have to be just hope to God that you won't get screwed. I took it. Bitch. Sometimes you get desperate and you just want to take a piece so bad, but you know that could set you up for not winning. Because not only do you have to have a winning hand, but you also have to do it in a certain way that gives you a sp special kind of combination that'll allow you to win. That's what makes this a lot more complicated. It's not as simple as just winning the hand. Did I just get points? Or did they take points from me? I don't know what happened. I, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. God, I have this stupid itch right next to... You ever... You ever, like, just mind your own business when you notice that you have a hive on your, ace, on your face that itches like a total bitch? I hate when that happens, dude. It's, it sucks happens to me I don't know if I'd say it often but I'd be like it's not like a rare occurrence like just right now I'm experiencing that problem and I'm not happy about it see like I'm close I got I have that potential for a great hand but I am still not giving me what I want. Uh, excuse me. Give her the green dragon. Bad dragon. I, I apologize for that bad joke. Probably people don't even probably didn't get the joke. Alright. Ah, uh. Yeah, I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk. Shit! Well, at least it wasn't that much points. The 
those sound effects are forever burned into my brain. Like a lot of Nintendo games from the early Famicom days. This one is no exception at all. Hell, it wasn't common. Hell, it's. It's, it wasn't uncommon to find this game on bootleg uh, f multi carts and for bootleg Famiclones and stuff. Because Asia loves their Mahjong and they're definitely going to show it. But considering how common this game was in Japan, it's easy to see why it got pirated a lot. Hell, I own. I actually own uh, two um, bootleg Famiclone handhelds. Both of them have this and uh, Hudson Soft's Yonin Uchi Mahjong on it. Uh, uh, Yonin Uchi Mahjong, that's another good Mahjong game. It's actually a, has four players on it, so that's cool. The, de the Really, the only downfall of Mahjong video games, at least ones from back then, is of course um, you can only play by yourself. Playing with another person was pretty much impossible because it's one of those games where you only can only you're only allowed to see your own um, hand. And you can't see the others' hands, otherwise that'd be cheating and it would just make the game like just worthless to play. So you have to, and there, there, and since games are usually only played with a single screen, um, there'd be no way to do it unless like you were playing like a special game that used like dual screens like. I think the versus Mahjong game I mentioned earlier had two player. Although I don't know why you'd want to play a two player, but you can if you if you ever feel so inclined, because of you know the the uh, if you're playing on the Nintendo Red versus system Red Tent, which is I've actually seen one in person, but it was only once, and it was up in Montreal, and it was at a, pl a place that I couldn't even play it at because I was underage. It was a, it was a bar in Montreal that had it. It was the only one I've ever seen in person. It's the closest I ever got to it was just looking at it up close, but never being able to play it because I wasn't of age to do anything there. And that's just a, one of the biggest teases of my entire life, and I'm not, and I'm still not, I'm still a bit upset about it. But you know, it, yeah. Uh. Yeah, nowadays you can play games on different screens. Hell, you had like stuff like the DS and the Switch, so you could do. St I imagine they've done stuff with that. I think the, the the Japanese mahjong game I mentioned earlier that's on the Switch allows you to do this the uh, multi-screen multiplayer with others if they have also have a Switch to play on. I don't know if that's more on on online multiplayer. That that that's a that's another question I wish I could answer. could easily use that. Damn it. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. And I hope I hope there's one more green dragon left. Hopefully that person isn't keeping it to themselves. Or we're gonna have big problems. Come on. Ah, no we don't. It's a draw game, again. But I am in ten pie, so that means I get points. Oh, I don't get anything. Damn it. Ah, oh, man. Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? You are going to kill me. Ooh, uh, 
shit. Fuck it, I'll take it. Oh, fuck. Now you're gonna take the damn lead. I'll never let it down. Uh, I mean, live it down, rather. Oh my, oh my god, now, oh, shit. How the hell am I, oh, Rianchi. How the hell am I gonna recover from that? I'm as good as... Lost the game. Grammar, my grammar sucks today. All right, let's see. can get that south wind. Perfect. I just... I just thought of a funny idea for something, for either a meme or a YouTube poop. I just thought of something awesome. Oh, God. If I ever get to making that a thing, you guys are in for a treat. This, we got this, man. We got this by the ass. You know what? I'll do this. I'll just, I'll just do, go for it. I'm close to win, winning this hand. Come on. I get nothing. Oh, he took. Oh, he took the other ones. What the hell? That's that's horse crap. some good stuff dude oh my god look at that hand it's beautiful i practically i practically i practically got this in the bag yeah yeah i'll yeah uh i'll do that and then yes Fuck it, I'll add that one on. I might as well. You get the chance, you fucking go for it. No holding back. Just 
trying to remember if this would make a winning hand or not. If this would be 10 pi. I don't know if it would be. I, could, I might be mistaking it for a different type of hand. I could be wrong, but... Doesn't matter now. Hold on, let's try it. Ah, uh, no, that won't work. But what if the, will the other one work? That's what I'm wondering. If I can even get it at all. We, I don't even know if that'll happen. Well, there goes that. I, be, I bet that other guy has it. Yep. Yep, has both of them. Bo both of them. Oh, did I just gain some? I think I I don't I don't know. Wait, did did I gain? I don't know. I'm still losing, so it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Uh One more and I win this one. One more. Daddy's got to bring in dinner home. Oh wait, that other guy got got a reach. Uh, it all comes down to luck of the die. Either he gets it or I do. Ah, oh, damn it. He, he was after the exact same one that I was in. Oh! Oh, oh, okay, only 5,000. I mean, I'm still losing, but it's not like I'm going into the negative numbers. You can, you can actually do that in Mahjong. You can actually go under, you can actually go into negative numbers territory. Like I said before, a man could go insane just listening to the same sounds again and again. I don't know if I would, but I imagine some people would.
Yeah, this one, the MP have a feeling this hand will be a dud. Nothing, I'm not really getting anything with this. Might not be a dot. This might not want to be a dot after all. Just one more. Ah, it was a dot, but it was very close at the end. I have to give that. I have to give it, give that for it. Give it for give it for that. English words. Uh, hmm. Ah, computer wins the first round. I think, and the game continues on from there, but I think I'm just going to end it right there. I think you get the basic idea. I played a full round. I think this, with this game, it plays like three rounds and the best of three wins the game. And there are three different difficulty settings. That was like the easiest one, but it's still a pretty big challenge. Uh, uh, I'll just stop it there for, for today. I did a full round. I guess, I guess you have the basic idea. I don't want this to go for too long. This ain't like my Super Mario Brothers uh, episode that I did for my 150 subscriber special last year. But yeah, that's uh, Mahjong on the Famicom. Uh, or, or the Famicom disc system, really. But it's it's the exact same, I, imagine, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. But either way, even though you might not have exactly known what was going on, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway and hear me rambling on about a bunch of random stuff while playing this game. This old ass Nintendo game from the early 80s. And, uh, hope to see you again next time for another fun episode of Andrew Plays or any other video I decide to upload. And of course I'm working on my Super Dodgeball review. I'm doing pretty good work on it and I hope to have it out soon. Hopefully by the end of next week. Or the week after that, I'm almost done with the script outline, and I'm hoping this will go smoothly. I'm doing it the way I'm working on it is a bit different than is is a lot different than how I've done it in the past. And of course, now I've got, I'm using a different capture card, so that's gonna be fun. You've you've already I've already even shared pretty much all the footage that I'm using for it, just to give you a bit of a sample of what you're gonna see. So yeah, it definitely looks a lot better than how it does has had in the past. Um, but yeah, I, I guess that you've heard enough from me. Uh, as always, thank you for watching this video. Um, I am your pal, Andrew Ambrose, and I will catch you later. Take care, guys.